So my most popular video is talking about bearded dragon femoral pores. Um, and that's probably because everyone, you know, who has a bearded dragon has seen these pores and people like things and they like seeing things get popped. But I haven't popped them on video because it's painful and it's hard to film. But I did tell you guys that the next time Mongo has one that I think is pretty easy to pop out, I will show you how to pop it. And I'll show you how to squeeze that oil out. And guys, it is disgusting. So just know what you're getting into. But bearded dragons are not the only lizard that has femoral pores. In fact, leopard geckos have femoral pores. Males, obviously, again, just like the bearded dragon, males only. So I have Orion out here who is just crawling around. And guys, this is also a great way to help sex your leopard gecko if you're really unsure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you his femoral pores and how they differ and how they're the same as the bearded dragon. And then we'll take a look at uh, Ariel and you'll see where there are no femoral pores. So if you have a leopard gecko and you're questioning male or female and it's of full size and you wanna be sure, this will help you be sure. So come here, Orion. Oh, don't, don't make any high-pitched squeaks. All right, let me just get him in position and then I'm gonna get him in front of the camera. So just, they're in the exact same place, guys. Come here, maybe he's getting he's mad already. See if I can stabilize his legs for this. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Let's just, hold on. Can you just settle down for one quick shot? You can see the pores right there. There we are. Get something in here. Come on, folk. Zoom it. Come on. Focus. There they are. They're in the same spot right there above the vent. They are much smaller because the leopard gecko's body is much smaller. But they go across. They make the same kind of upward V for me. Look at him. He's just like chilling. Oh gosh, he's mad already. But uh, they're there, and again, they're there for the same reason. They're there to help just spread his scent when he wants to mate. And he's just walking around, and he's he's dragging his, his crotch area just all over the ground like that, spreading the oils. Now, these things can get clogged as well, which again can happen when you keep them in some type of substrate that is not reptile carpet, paper towel, newspaper. If you keep them in a dirt or sand uh, substrate, there's a high chance that these can clog and that's what will happen. And even his, his are, are really good. Now bearded dragons don't normally get clogged femoral pores on the males if their habitat is set up right, because unlike, I'm sorry, leopard geckos, I mean, Bearded dragons do get them because bearded dragons have to be in a very dry environment. Whereas with leopard geckos, you'll have a humid hide. So there'll be areas that will prevent dry skin. It will prevent uh, stuck shed. It will help them shed much quicker. So you don't get a layer of shed that forms over the pore keeping the pore impacted like in a bearded dragon. In a leopard gecko, these things are free to help go all the time. So they normally never have problems. So you saw his area and you know what a male looks like. Again, just to refresh before I switch, before I switch Ariel out. Come here, oh, he's doing an alligator death roll. Well, if I do this to you, really? There we go again, there's that one quick shot again. That's the male area with all the femoral pores. Now let's look at a female leopard gecko. Okay, so here's Ariel. And again, anyone who watches the blind leopard gecko video series of when I first got her and she was just pencil thin as the tail and they want to know, hi, how is she doing? You know, updates. Guys, she's doing great. If you watch the other videos, you can see her. Her eyes are open. She can see, but this isn't what we're here for. We're here to look at where her pores would be. All right. Let's take a peek. Hi, come here. Now she is much more tame to being held just because, you know, when she was like on death's door, I had to hold her all the time. She is also the one that will make high pitched squeaks. 
um, very high pitch if she does it. So you, we're just going to take a quick peek, and that's where you would identify a female because, again, right above the vent, you don't have that formation. You don't have uh, any femoral pores because she's not a male. And that's how you would be able to tell. Otherwise, from the top, other than the males getting larger, it's hard to sometimes sex uh, leopard geckos if you're opening up the vent and actually looking for sexual organs. Because people will say males are larger, but unless you have a male next to a female, you don't really have something to compare size to. So this has been a video to show you guys that also leopard geckos have femoral pores, how they look, how to take care of them, much easier. A lot of times you have to do absolutely nothing and then comparing it to a female. And then just so we can show everybody, hi, show them both your eyes. There you go. Just got both eyes wide open. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care. Stay safe, guys.